E Cam fam, what is up? My name is Alicia Way, and I am super elated to be back for another installment of Demo Mode Pros, where we bring on the top content creators in our space, all using Ecamm to help go into live demo mode to show you how to do the things that you want to do with your Ecamm Live Productions. And today is no different. We have Stephanie Liu. She is an absolute sniper in our space as it relates to Ecamm Live and live streaming and content creation and video marketing everything man she is a beast man so she is going to show us how to set up our scenes she is going to go behind the scenes and live demo mode and show us step by step how to set up our scenes in ecam live to flow smoothly and seamlessly so we can have a production that is just flawless man if you ever wanted to know how to set up your scenes this is the episode for you so without further ado stephanie lou take it away Ecamm fam, let's take it to live demo mode. The challenge of live streaming is that you have to be in the moment. And the truth is, it's hard to keep track of everything. But with Ecamm scenes feature, I can create scenes for each segment of my show. I'm talking about the intro, talking head style, side by side interviews, guest interviews, or my favorite screen sharing. Having scenes makes it easier to produce a show without skipping a beat. And the best part is I can assign hotkeys to each scene and even connect it to a stream deck. That means with a simple push of a button, I can swiftly transition to the next segment to stay on track. Let me show you just how easy it is. All right, so one of the cool things about scenes in Ecamm is that because I produce multiple shows, I like to have a folder for every single show that I produce. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. Now this new folder, we're gonna name it Showrunner Secrets from the Set. Showrunner, awesome. Okay, the first scene that I generally like to have for my run of show is going to be the video intro. So it's really simple to do. We're gonna click the plus sign and we're gonna name this intro. Now for me to choose the video, it's as simple as just grabbing the file and adding it onto Ecamm. So it's as simple as this, just grab the file, shoot it over here. The next scene that I like to create is the talking head style. So for that, I'm just gonna click on the plus sign, create a new scene. I usually like to name this solo. And from here, because my show is branded, here's the fun part, right? I could take the overlay and just put it on the background. And there it is, here's my overlay. Let's make it pretty and nice. Boom, there you are. And to make it even more fun, we're gonna add a lower third graphic. So I'm just gonna take this lower third graphic that I created, drop it into Ecamm, position it so that it's perfect, and there you go. Once I've created a solo scene, the next scene that I want to have is when I invite a guest onto the show. So we're gonna add another scene into this folder. So click on the plus sign. We're gonna name this interview. Now it's not just gonna be me, it's gonna be me and my guest. Here's the cool thing about Ecamm is that you can put a placeholder for your guests. So we're just gonna click the plus sign and boom, it's my guest and I, and because I still want it to have the same look and feel, right? We're gonna get the same overlay that I had in the previous scene, drag it over and position it, sweet. And since I already have a lower third for the amazing, wonderful Katie Fox that was already on my show, we're just gonna drag this over into here. And now when I play this scene, it's going to have my guest and I plus the lower third. And one of my favorite things to do on show and secrets from the set is to screen share. So I could show everyone what I'm geeking out on, whether it's a strategy, a Google sheet, any of that stuff, just to show how amazing and wonderful Ecamm is. So the new scene that we are going to create we're gonna name this screen share. Now for this screen share, I want it to be fancy. I want it to look like something different, something that no one has ever experienced before. So to do that, what I want is, I want a different kind of overlay for this where it shows me in the corner and then the actual screen share itself. 
This is a really cool overlay that Elysio had made for Showrunner's Secrets from the set. And so if you notice here, it's going to take up the whole entire scene. It's animated, so it's different. But what I want to do is I want to get my camera over there. So to do that, I'm going to use the camera overlay. So we're going to use the cam link. We're going to edit this to be tall. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we're going to resize it. Notice that <laughs> notice that it's on top of the overlay. So what I have to do is in overlays, I'm just going to position it underneath. Yeah. All right. So then I want to do a screen share. So we do a screen share. I'm going to open up Google Chrome. Let's open up a new window. Let's drive this over to ecamtv slash showrunner. change this and we're going to change the screen share is going to be Google Chrome. So this is the other scene that I like to create where it has me as a picture. And then as I'm screen sharing, it will absolutely be branded in here. So I could go through this and I could show what is happening on the landing page. And here are a few other scenes that I like to create in showrunner secrets from the set is this one over here is, you know, if I want to do something different, here's another camera overlay with a text overlay. And then I have the images over there that I could promote over to my audience. So it just makes it really fun. And then one of my favorite features about Ecamm scenes is that I can assign a hotkey, which makes it so easy for me to switch from one section of my show over to the next. And so to do that, I just click on this right here, type in the hotkey. For me, I usually put like command one, command two, command three, command four, as many as I need to. And then here's the fun part is I could connect this to my stream deck. So whenever I want to switch screens, it's just a push of the button. So I could go from solo to dual and back again. And it's nice because I just have it off to the side and I never have to take my eyes off of the screen. So it's really cool to have. And one of the scenes that I love to create in Ecamm scenes is the credits. This is where I get to give a shout out to the whole entire crew that worked behind the scenes in putting together the actual show. I'm talking about everything from like the music, the graphics, the overlays, just pretty much all the things. So when I do that, I'm just going to click on credits. I've been waiting for so here's the really cool thing about it is that I can give a shout out to the entire crew that helped me out in creating the show. I give a shout out to the whole entire crew, dance it out. I usually like to just even just show comments from the, the live crew that was watching. And then as it's done playing that, I can do a step and repeat. And then as it loops back, I could just take myself off the screen, boom, and it plays. All right, friends, so that is how you create scenes in Ecamm so that it flows with your run of show. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can find me in the Ecamm live community. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Wow, that was a lot. That was dope. Shout out to Stephanie Lou, man. Make sure you go check her out, man. She is super dope. Add her on all the social media uh, sites because you will for sure learn something every time she posts. So shout out to her. If you found value in this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and also leave any questions that you may have in the comments below so we can address all your questions. Also, join the Facebook group. We're always in the Facebook group helping people out and just kicking it and hanging out and having fun, testing, do whatever you need to do. We're right there for you in the Facebook group to support you. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have so much content coming out. You don't want to miss anything, man. We have loads of content coming out on the channel and it's going to for sure help you level up your live stream. And man, it's going to be super dope, man. So with that being said, once again, my name is Alicia Way and thank you for watching Demo Mode Pros.